Oh, okay. Good afternoon, Promise. Happy Friday. And now it's computer time. I just had a couple things to discuss with uh, my third through fifth graders. Um, I wanted to discuss how to go to your PowerPoints. I've had a couple questions because you've been going straight to the Google Classroom. Um, do not go to the Google Classroom. Go to the Google Drive. Go straight to your Google Drive and your PowerPoint that you have been working on will be in your Google Drive for you to edit, comment, add your pictures, add your stickers, and everything that you would like to do to edit your PowerPoint. So to show you that, I am going to show you really fast. Okay, You're going to go to these nine dots in a square over here to your right. You're going to click that. Then you're going to see drive where you see this triangle of green, yellow, and blue and click so you can open your drive. Once you have opened your drive, your PowerPoint that you have been working on after it finishes loading will be right here and you will see an example such as my example right here. It will say you have edited in the past month or the past year or the last day that you were on your PowerPoint. It will show that you have edited. If you would like to go to your do's and don'ts list to let you know what you do and do not need in each PowerPoint, once again, you will go back to those nine dots in your drive, open, and your classroom will be there. Once you open that, your classroom should pop up. And we're going to use careers class as an example. You're going to click that. Scroll down and click all about me do's and don'ts. Once you double click it, it will open and you now will have your do's and don'ts. Excuse my computer, it's being a little slow today. Okay, you will be able to scroll down. There are examples such as the PowerPoint that I have done that will already be here, such as my title PowerPoint example. It will be there also with the do's and don'ts so that way you can see how it's kind of done and it can help you out a little. If you have any more questions other than that, Ms. Lewis will be here to always, always help. I Please do not be afraid. I'm always here for you and you have always been here for me. Okay. Um, also, what I do want you to do is to make sure, I'm going to open my PowerPoint. Please make sure that your PowerPoints have everything inside of the border. What I mean about inside of the border is, you see this little square right here, that even though it hasn't completely uploaded yet, but this little square, that is where everything your PowerPoints needs to be inside of that rectangle. If it is not inside of that rectangle, say for instance, Miss Lewis wanted to add a picture. It's going to pop up. We're going to look up classroom pictures. Animated. Ooh, I spelled that so wrong. Okay, I decided to choose this picture. I am going to insert. After I have inserted the picture, I have to resize. But if I was to resize and I had my picture outside of a square, to always make sure that you do not, and everything is in your rectangle, even if you do not see where it's at, you always can come and push this button right here called present. It will present the PowerPoint to you. And now, once it presents, you see that my picture is not fully inside of my PowerPoint because I have not edited it and I have it outside of my rectangle. To keep it inside, remember we click. And we go to our blue squares on the corners to resize and make them smaller to fit into our PowerPoint and to inside of our background as well. We do not want anything to really overlap our background unless it has something to do with it. 
Okay, so I can go ahead and delete this. I'll take that off later. My computer doesn't want to act right right now. But like I said, again, if you all have any questions, and I do mean any questions, do not be afraid to ask. Those are just the ones that I've had so far. Um, also, before I forget, because I've wrote it down, I would like for you to share your PowerPoints with me if you have been working on them or if you are working on them right now. And the way that you do that is you will go to File. And the first thing that you will see is the word share. Ooh, share. You're going to click that. And it's going to load up a little box. In that little box where you see the word people, that is where you're going to enter my email address. I also have it listed in the Google Classroom as well. And it is also listed on Dojo and anywhere else. And if you do not see it anywhere, you can always message me. And I will be able to give it to you as well. But you will enter my email address. and push send. Once you have pushed send, you have shared it with me, I will be able to see it at any time. You will not have to do that every time. That will be the one and only time I wouldn't even like for you to do that, okay? Now to talk to my kindergarten through second grade. Hello. I know we haven't been doing PowerPoints in class, but there is something else I would like to do. Miss Lewis has made her own keyboard. I want us to be as creative and colorful as we want. Miss Lewis hasn't really been that colorful because I kind of just wanted one color so I could see everything and I could show you everything a whole lot clearer. But I would like for you to be as colorful, as creative as you would like to be. You can use glitter, you can use different type of colors. Your lines do not have to be straight. You can what else you can add stickers you can change your letters we can do lowercase letters some of everything but what i would like to do is make you a keyboard and also to make a sentence <laughs> my sentence is a little backwards but what my sentence was my favorite food is pizza and what i would do is i set it on the table and i would type my words according to how i would like my sentence type as well Okay, that is your activity for the week. But I would like for you to do, if you do it, is to post your picture of your keyboard because I would love to see how creative you were into making your keyboard for class today. All right, I hope everybody has a lovely and great fun Friday. And I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.